Hello and welcome to mathandsciencepower.com. My name is Joe and I'll be your host. Please remember that you can help me to help you by subscribing to my channel, commenting on the videos, and rating and sharing the videos with your friends. Also remember to visit us online for a complete listing of our videos. Okay, so let's talk about exponential functions and their derivatives. And here is a list of the problems I'll be doing so that you can click them to skip ahead to those specific problems. Okay, let's get started. Number 31. If f of x equals e to the fifth, find e prime of x, f prime of x. Uh, we need to find the derivative. Well, e is a mathematical constant, which is 2.71828. Therefore, e raised to the fifth power is also a constant, and the derivative of a constant will be zero. And number 33 f of x equals x cubed plus 2x times e to the x. Find f prime of x. Now don't make the same mistake I did and look at this and try to take the integral because you've been doing integrals lately. Uh, we're looking for the derivative. Uh, so this will be the product rule. Uh, the derivative of the first is 3x plus 2 and uh, 3x squared and keep the second function the same and then we add and we take the derivative of the second function and the derivative of e to the x is e to the x and we multiply by the first function x cubed plus 2x so we see here that e to the x is in each term and we can factor that out from each term so we get e to the x 3x squared plus 2 plus x cubed plus 2x. And I'm just going to rearrange the terms here. Um, x cubed comes first, and then 3x squared, then 2x, and 2. Okay, number 35, y equals e raised to the ax cubed power. And I'm going to put everything in the exponent here in parentheses. So y prime equals, uh, we'll have to do the chain rule here, e to the x would still be e to the x, so this will be e to the ax cubed. And then the chain rule is, is I have to take the derivative of the inside, which will be 3ax squared. And if you want to rearrange the order here, we would normally put the constants out in front. Number 37, y equals x times e to the negative kx power. So this will be the product rule. So you take the derivative of the first term, which will be 1, and then we multiply by the second term stays the same. And then we add. Now this time the first term stays the same, and we multiply by the derivative of the second term. So the derivative of e raised to some power is the chain rule. Uh, so e to this power stays the same. And then we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside which would be negative k so y prime equals this is just e to the negative kx uh, a positive times a negative is a negative kx e to the negative x k power and you can see that each term here has a e to the negative kx in it so I'm going to factor that out and that leaves me with a 1 here and then minus kx thirty nine fu equals e to the one over u power 
So f prime u, uh, we'll have to do the chain rule here. This part stays the same. And then I'm going to make a note here that 1 over u is equal to 1, or u to the negative 1 power. Um, so I need to take the derivative of the inside here. I need to take the derivative of this, which would be um, negative u to the negative 2 power. So negative u to the negative 2 power. The negative will come out in front and the u to the negative 2 will go to the denominator and the exponent will become positive. Number 41 f t equals e to the t sine 2t power so f prime of t equals we'll have to do the chain rule, this part stays the same and then we will multiply by the derivative of the inside here well the inside is a product so we'll have to use the product rule see it's t times sine of 2t so the derivative of the first t will be 1 and then the sine 2t stays the same then I add and this time I take the derivative of the sine 2t but you can see I will need to use the chain rule because the argument here is not x it's 2t so the derivative of sine is cosine the inside will stay the same and then I have to multiply by the derivative of the inside so the derivative of 2t is just 2 and then I also need to multiply by the first term staying the same so f prime of t equals and I'm just going to clean it up a little bit this is just sine 2t plus I'm going to bring the 2t out in front cosine of 2t Forty-three. y equals the square root of 1 plus 2e to the 3x so I need this to be a fractional exponent rather than a radical before I can take the derivative to the one-half power okay so we'll have to do the chain rule here the outermost function here is everything is being raised to this one-half power so that's my outermost function is to take care of the one-half power so power rule inside stays the same then I subtract one from this exponent which would be negative one-half and then we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside here so the derivative of one will be zero and then the derivative of 2e to the 3x well this part will stay the same except I have to multiply by the exponent of e now so the the derivative of 3x is 3 so this half and this 2 cancel this is all multiplication here and then I get 3 e to the 3x times 1 plus 2e to the 3x power to the negative one half and then if you want since this is to the negative one half power it would come into the denominator and we can change it back to a square root
45, y equals e to the e x power. So y prime equals, we'll have to do the chain rule, so first everything stays the same. And then we have to multiply by the derivative of this exponent. Uh, of this e, I mean the exponent of the e. Uh, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So this is an acceptable answer here, but I also notice that when the bases are the same and we multiply, we can add the exponents. So this would also be an acceptable answer. Number 47, y equals a e to the x plus b divided by c e to the x plus d. So this one will require the quotient rule and it's also they're using letters here for their coefficients, their constants. Um, so this will be a challenging one. Uh, go ahead and try this one on your own. We'll take a quick break and when we come back we'll finish up this one and the last one which will be the two most difficult. Welcome back to MathAndSciencePower.com. My name is Joe and I'll be your host. Please remember that you can help me to help you by subscribing to my channel, commenting on the videos, and rating and sharing the videos with your friends. Also remember to visit us online for a complete listing of our videos. Okay, number 47 here. Uh, this will be a quotient rule. So y prime equals, uh, first I take the derivative of the top. So a e to the x, that's going to stay a e to the x. Uh, there's nothing, the derivative of e to the x is still e to the x and the constant is constant multiplier. So that stays the same. Uh, the derivative of b, b is a constant, so that goes to zero. And then we multiply by the bottom. So the bottom stayed the same, c, e to the x plus d. Now we subtract and we take the derivative of the bottom. So the derivative of c, e to the x is c, e to the x. Uh, there's nothing to do here. And then we multiply by the top stays the same, a, e to the x plus b. And then we have to divide all of this by the denominator squared. So now what we want to do is we need to distribute the a e to the x into each one of these terms. Um, we'll distribute here and we'll distribute the c e to the x here. So a e to the x times c e to the x would be uh, a c e to the x, e to the x, and then plus a e to the x d uh, minus a c e to the x, e to the x, minus, because a negative times a positive, would be uh, c b e to the x and then all of this being divided still by c e to the x plus d squared. Okay, so this looks pretty ugly here, but we have two common terms here, um, the a c e x e x and the a c e x e x, and this one's positive and this one's negative, so they cancel. And then what we're left with is a e to the x uh, d, I, I should have wrote the d in front with the a, and then c, b, e to the x, and they both have an e to the x in them. So I want to factor this e to the x out of each term. And here I'm left with a d minus c, b. Okay, the e to the x came out of each term. And then all of this divided by c, e to the x plus d squared. And last but not least, we have number 39 with a trig function, y equals cosine of 1 minus e to the 2x divided by 1 plus e to the 2x. So to find the derivative here, we're going to have to use the chain rule for the trig function. Uh, cosine is the outside and the argument here is the inside. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. 
and then the inside stays the same 1 minus e to the 2x over 1 plus e to the 2x but then I have to multiply by the derivative of the inside and the inside here is a quotient so I'm going to have to use the quotient rule so I start by taking the derivative of the top so the derivative of 1 is 0 and then the derivative of negative e to the 2x is negative e to the 2x but then I will have to multiply by the derivative of the exponent so the derivative of 2x is 2 then I multiply this by the denominator and the denominator just stays the same 1 plus e to the 2x then I subtract and now I take the derivative of the bottom uh, derivative of 1 is 0 and the derivative of e to the 2x is e to the 2x but then I also have to multiply by the derivative of the exponent so the derivative of 2x is 2 so times 2 then I multiply by the numerator and I just leave it the same 1 minus e to the 2x and then I divide all of this by the denominator 1 plus e to the 2x and I square that okay so I can't do anything with this I can't simplify this anymore so this will stay the same uh, negative sine 1 minus e to the 2x over 1 plus e to the 2x and here you can see that each term I have two terms here separated by this minus sign each term has a negative e to the 2x negative e to the 2x so I'm going to factor out the negative e to the 2x and what that's going to leave me with on the oh and uh, I'm sorry I also have a 2 here that I'm going to factor out so I'm factoring out negative 2e to the 2x so all of this comes out so then what I'm left with is 1 plus e to the 2x this negative came out with the e 2e to the 2x so it's a positive now and I'm left here with the 1 minus e to the 2x and then all of this is still over 1 plus e to the 2x squared y prime equals negative sine 1 minus e to the 2x over 1 plus e to the 2x times and what happens here is I have a plus e to the 2x and a negative e to the 2x so these cancel and then I have a 1 plus 1 which is 2 and then that 2 is being multiplied by this negative 2e to the 2x so that gives me negative 4e to the 2x and that is all over uh, 1 plus e to the 2x squared and then here I have a negative times a negative so those become positive so the last thing to do is just to get rid of the negative signs here so I get sine of 1 minus e to the 2x divided by 1 plus e to the 2x times 4e to the 2x over 1 plus e to the 2x squared on behalf of MathAndSciencePower.com, my name is Joe. Thanks for watching.